Hey, Ronnie Jr. Mm. <laughs> um, I love these conversations, but I, because I would be wasted of, of time if I didn't do some pop culture stuff with you, just because that is like your bread and butter. I'm just going to ask you a couple shows and just tell me um, basically like who stands out. So on Real Housewives of Potomac, who are your top dogs of that show? Tough question because you like them all, but who are some of your favorites on Housewives of Potomac? So interestingly, um, it probably wasn't the case when we first started this show, uh, Monique. Yeah. I just, I just, because I've had the opportunity to meet her, um, we actually went out to dinner, meet her and Riley, because her and Riley are best friends. Mm. Um, she's a, she's a, a ball of sunshine. Like, she's a light. You know what I'm saying? So to me, I feel like she, maybe she gets a lot of dislike from some of the other ladies because of that light. Um, Giselle is still one of my favorites. Um, that hasn't changed. I don't know why she just, there's something, there's a star quality there. And Karen, um, I've had the opportunity to, I've met Karen and had conversations with her and she, she is just like she appears on the show. She is fun. Nice. She's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I'm growing up rich. I'm, I'm, I'm not at the point where I'm like this or that. Now I'm starting to like them all. And Monique was my struggle season one, her season one. But yeah, no, she has really morphed into something that I enjoy. And I tend to like them all now. So there's a little bit of growth on my end, I must say. Um, Miami, because you've spent time in Miami. Um, it's a series that I'd never understood why it got canceled. I was heavy. I, I didn't either. I was heavy on Larsa Pippen episode season one. Like I was that kind of fan. Um, who of that franchise did you just enjoy? So it's interesting because my favorite season of that season was season two, where they had like eight cast members. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, that season, uh, Joanna Krupa, because I just felt like she brought it. Like she had a built-in storyline with her sister. It was just everything. Um, who else that season stood out to me? Um, you know who, this is funny. So my co-host was Anna Kinkosis, yeah, who was yeah. on that show, right? And Anna on Real Housewives of Miami, completely different from the Anna in person. Okay, I don't know what, <laughs> they, they got it right in the sense that she is very well-spoken. They got it wrong in not showing her actual personality because- uh. When I when you when you meet Anna in real life, she it, I I can't even explain it to you. Just there's just a lot of energy there, and she's a lot feistier than what they actually gave her on the show. Like what you see on the show, it was so much more. Um, the other person that I loved, which was it's kind of interesting, was Lisa Hushton. Oh, me too. She gave me the Larsa Pippen thing. Like, here's my thing with anybody: whatever it is that you do. If you sit in that truth fully, go for it. Like Lisa told you, this is what it is. She didn't like, I mean, she was a nice woman as well. Gor gorgeous. Um, but she didn't like, you know, she wasn't trying to tell you she was Mother Teresa. She was like, this is what it is. I loved it. I loved it. I love yes. so much of that season. There's literally probably only one cast member that was a little troubling. Um, but I even like Karen. So nobody liked Karen. <laughs> I like Karen too. And the other, here's another thing. I do a lot of work with Karen's publicist. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they, the, soon, literally, as soon as I came down here to audition for the morning show, I met her publicist, and she got me a whole bunch of clothes to wear for my next couple of appearances. So it was, it was a really nice thing. So yeah, I like Karen a lot, actually. I think she just got a bad rap on that show. Well, as, as you mentioned with uh, your co-host from, from the uh, talk show you guys did, sometimes they have their show Bible and it just is so tight and they don't allow um, people to really shine the way they are. Like I don't watch a lot of Beverly Hills housewives, but I know that I necessarily never liked the Erica Jane or I had no problem with it, but I'm more like, let's start editing Erica Girardi. Like I'd be totally on board for that. I feel like she's pretty cool. Um, going to go to a love and hip hop show. Who is standing out to you with love and hip hop Miami? Um, probably Sukiana. Okay. Um, she, I think she has that sort of almost Cardi B vibe, but like a Southern, even though she's from Delaware, but it's, it's, a, it's a weird situation. But uh, I watched an interview she did with uh, my boy Funky Daniva and, she, you know, it's interesting. She, she comes across, 
you know, she has kids and she was cooking for her kids while she was doing it. So the persona that we see on television in her music is quite different from, you know, her day to day life, which is kind of interesting as well. Yeah, I like Miami Tip on that show. They don't show much of her ever. I don't know why. Um, yeah, but that, that, that season I enjoy, but then also not sometimes. It's kind of off and on. Um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Carly Red should be your number one, but let me see what you think. Ah, uh, Atlanta. <laughs> so, you know, Carly Red to me, it's so funny that you brought her up, is integral to that show. Oh, yeah. That show probably wouldn't move without her. Um, I used to think that that was Jocelyn, but it's honestly, it's really always been Carly. Mm -hmm. It has always been Carly. She stands out. Who else stands out as, as well on that show? It's so interesting because there, there's always so many new people added to this, to this franchise. Um, Mimi still stands out to me. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's because I feel like she, Rashida, and Carly kind of anchored that show. Yes. Yeah. Um, gotta go to the all-star cast, Real Housewives of New York. Um, I just, for some reason, I'm asking you questions, but I'm giving my input as well. Um, I am such a Sonia Morgan fan and also Luann. And I'm interested to see how the season plays out because now it's like, you know, who's going to not necessarily take Bethany's role, but who's going to try to rise to that occasion? Is it going to be Dorinda? Is it going to be Leah? Like, what's going to happen? Um, but I plug in every week, and I want more Sonia, Sonia, Sonia Morgan. I want her crest. I want her talking about being a bottom. All of it. Sonia Morgan will continue to give it to me. I got no issue with her. Sonia is, <laughs> like, you know, this this season is, is kind of bananas with Sonia. So I'm loving what she's bringing. I don't particularly enjoy her the most. Mm -hmm. To me, she is necessary for the show though. Mm -hmm. um, I think my favorite person on there, I have two at this point, is Dorinda, although I'm highly critical of how she's sort of channeling her aggressive energy with Tinsley because I feel like it's not a fair fight. Mm -hmm. Um, but Dorinda, I like because there's something real and raw about her that I just feel like it makes for really good television. And then Leah, the new chick, I, 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 I think that they needed somebody like her and they're going to need another person like her because obviously Tinsley's not going to be back. They're going to need another type of Leah character in order to keep the balance of energy from being Golden Girls and then like younger sex in the city. I, I do like an aged housewife, I will say. Are you at all upset? Because you used to tell me that you really liked Carol. I didn't necessarily see or understand Carol. And she is missed. She's missed. See, Heather's to me, missed. To huh? me, this would have been a great season to have Carol on. Because yeah. I feel like she would have definitely bridged the gap between Leah, Aaliyah, and a Dorinda. Right. Because, yeah. she, you well, know, Carol... Carol, I feel like when she's carefree, aside from that season that she was kind of bickering with Bethany, I feel like Carol, the carefree Carol, is, is she's, she's kind of a cool chick, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. she doesn't need to do that much in order to be, to me, interesting. Because not everybody could be Sonya. You, for every Sonya, you've got to have a Carol. Because they balance each other out, you know? Well, so Carol I kind of miss that energy. Yeah, well, Carol was the one who said, oh, no, you guys are missing the point. She's nice, nasty. Like, Carol was very assertive, and she's like what we said about Lisa in Miami. She is authentically that. Like, people will get mad at her because she doesn't necessarily get hopped up on all these crazy things, but that is the life she's lived, so it's truthful.